Hi, I'm Daniel Overton from CR Kennedy here in Sydney, Australia. Today we're going to take a look at one of the latest and greatest in Leica Geosystems technology, the AP20 Autopole. The AP20 is a unique to market smart solution from Leica Geosystems, which boasts on-site productivity and reliability by enabling fully automated surveying and set out or using a total station. By combining the AP20 together with an automated TS16, TS60 or multi-station, surveying construction professionals now have the ability to use tilt compensation to make measurements with a tilted pole, use pole height to automatically read and apply the target height, or use target ID to identify the correct target during search and lock. Now the AP20 comes in four different models, each with a different set of features. You can either have target ID only, pole height only, tilt compensation and pole height, or a collection of all three. Now a standard AP20 kit comes with four main unique components. First of all, we've got the GLS51 prism pole. Now what's unique about this pole is it's got a number of snap block positions, each with a hole sensor, to communicate with the AP20. Next we have the AP20 itself. In the bag you'll find the main module. It slides straight over your prism pole and locks into position. Next we have the battery to power the unit, which is the new GEB321, specifically designed for the AP20. Now this battery is going to be compatible with all existing Leica battery chargers. And lastly, we've got the RH18. Now, if you're planning on utilising the tilt functionality of the AP20, you're going to need the RH18. The RH18 has a Bluetooth low energy radio, which is needed to synchronise to the AP20. So there we have it. That was just a quick overview of the basic components in a standard AP20 kit. For more information on the AP20 kit, contact us at CR Kennedy or your local sales representative. Thanks for watching.